Hello, my name is Blakely Nixon. I am the Communications and Events Coordinator for the Validate Network. On the 24th of March 2020, as part of our marking of World TB Day, I interviewed Professor Helen McShane about tuberculosis and the work Validate support in confronting the disease. Helen is the Director of Validate and a Professor of Vaccinology at the University of Oxford's Jenner Institute. I should apologise for the poor sound quality. Due to current world events, neither Helen nor I were in optimal recording conditions. However, the interview is clear and Helen has some fascinating insights. So, Helen, what exactly is tuberculosis? Tuberculosis, or TB as it's often called, is, a, is an infectious disease caused by a pathogen called Mycobacterium tuberculosis. TB predominantly affects the lungs, but it can affect any organ of the body. You can get brain TB, you can get kidney TB, you can get bone TB. You can actually get it pretty much anywhere in your body. And how widespread is TB today? TB today in 2020 kills more people than any other infectious disease. In 2018, the latest figures are that there were 10 million new cases throughout the world and 1.5 million deaths attributed to TB. This epidemic is fueled particularly by the emergence of drug resistant strains of TB, which are very difficult to treat, by co-infection with HIV, a virus which lowers your immune system and makes you more susceptible to TB, and by breakdown in disease control measures and TB control measures, particularly in low and middle income settings. I guess a rather more basic question is, what is it about TB that actually harms you? It's a really good question. Um, so it, it hides inside cells. That's why it's so good at evading the host immune system. That's why it's such a devastating pathogen um, and why it's such a successful pathogen. It's been around since the pharaohs. Um, and it, what happens is that you, it causes inflammation. Your, your immune response does respond to it. Um, it causes inflammation, you get uh, a spread of infection as it replicates, and it essentially causes abscesses in your lung. And it's those abscesses that then ultimately um, compromise your ability to breathe. Um, and once those abscesses erode through the airway into your bloodstream, you then get it spreading around the body. Um, and that's when you get what we call disseminated TB, where it's spread around the body. Um, and that's the point at which really people become very sick indeed. Why is developing a vaccine for tuberculosis so important? Vaccination is the most cost effective way to control any infectious disease epidemic. The only infectious disease we've ever eradicated, smallpox, was eradicated by successful vaccination. We need new drugs and we need new diagnostic tests so that we can better treat TB and we can better diagnose TB so we can put people on treatment more quickly. But the most cost-effective long-term way to control this devastating pathogen is by preventing TB and the only way we can do that is by vaccination. And what are the main challenges in developing a vaccine? TB vaccine development is, is very difficult. If it were easy, to be frank, we'd already have a vaccine by now. And some of the reasons it's difficult are that we don't know precisely what kind of immune response will allow us to generate a protective vaccine. We know some of the kinds of immune responses that are needed, but it's a very complex immune response. It's not like, for example, pneumonia or meningitis, pathogens which are relatively simple to develop vaccines before because we know exactly what kind of immune response we need. TB is a much more complex immune response and we're not quite sure how much of all those different bits of that immune response we need for a vaccine to work. What that means is we have to test all those vaccines in very large, very expensive efficacy trials. We can't just test them in smaller studies and know that they're going to work because they are inducing the right immune response. We also don't know which animal models which we use to test vaccines for safety and for efficacy before we test vaccines in humans predict efficacy in humans. Some of the animal models we use are closely related to humans, but none of them are perfect. And until we have a successful vaccine, we won't be able to predict which animal model was the best predictor. And how is Validate helping with TB vaccine development? 
Validate is a global challenges research fund vaccine network, which is designed to pull together researchers working on four different pathogens. One of those is TB, one of those is Mycobacterium leprae, which causes leprosy, a very closely related pathogen, and then two other pathogens, Burkholderia pseudomeliae, which causes meliodosis, and leishmania. These four pathogens all have very similar ways of affecting the immune response. They're similar microbiologically. They hide inside cells. They stop our immune system from responding to them. And we felt that by pulling together people who work on these four different pathogens, we can more rapidly learn lessons from each other understand what other people are doing with other pathogens that might be relevant for our pathogens and bring people together in a cross-disciplinary way so that people working on one aspect, perhaps a, a very basic structural biology aspect, can interact with people doing perhaps clinical development or, or more translational science, really to try and catalyze and expedite vaccine development for tuberculosis, but also for these other pathogens, really important pathogens in particularly low and middle income settings. Thank you very much, Professor McShane. You can find out more about the Validate Network on our website, validate-network.org, or by following us on Twitter, at Network Validate. Thank you very much.